Hey, um, this is our test part from Form Labs. It's a uh, loop for holding in a pipe in place, and uh, we're going to test it in real world farm environment here on our strawberry farm. And uh, we're going to be testing it against this galvanized loop and a plastic loop, which uh, will all be installed in this basically the same area here on this. Uh, uh, there's this rose bush here that's pretty tall, and we need uh, to secure this pipe uh, with loops so that that way it can go up, if, if you see, above, and spray above it out and water this lawn region. And uh, the other loop we already have installed here is a uh, PVC loop. It's in uh, identical sort of type location. It's been there for, I don't know how long. It's been there for less than a year. You'll see it's already starting to get uh, sun discoloration and getting brittle. It yeah. won't last more than five years sitting there. Probably it might break this year. The, way, the sun is getting so powerful now. Yeah, and so uh, this is my test video for Form Labs so that I can uh, see how good their 3D printed stuff works. See if uh, the 3D printers uh, are... See, the thing about this galvanized is even though it's supposedly galvanized, when you uh, have water running on it all the time, it will rust, it will break down. Compared to this, which uh, should be pretty resistant to the UV rays of the sun and all the other millions of rays as well. Yes, yeah, the 3D printed half loop here. So, I mean, uh, screw them into place and we'll see what we think. Yeah. Well, it's pretty dorky, but it's a little wider compared to the other ones, so you have to, uh, I had to put this extra piece on here. Um, anyways, as a solution, might as well add this into the video for screws sticking out the back of this wood. I'm just going to try to take this clipper here and I clip off the uh, screws here. Oh! Whew. Get the other side here. I don't know what's the best angle to get it off. Like that. That one didn't fly off at least. And now I'm going to use some flex seal to spray the ends to keep them from being sharp because I don't want kids to hurt themselves. So we'll just put a couple coats of that on there, I guess. This might not be the best type of flex seal to use. Too runny. Probably get the thicker stuff and put it on a glob on there. Or you can get those little rubber like tips that you can put on the end of screws, I guess. Anyways, uh, here we are. Uh, I got the metal one down here to hold it there. And there's that one up there, modified to fit. And we'll see if the sun wears this out at all in the next few months. It's uh, extra ozone-licious out here, so who knows. I know that one's falling apart over there on the uh, house, so that one's already proven to fail. Besides for that, um, all I gotta say is uh, PVC pipes are starting to fall apart quicker each year in the sun too. Uh, it might get so bad that they won't even last long enough to be worth using. 
I hope there'll be some sort of new polymer pipes to replace them. Yeah. And, uh, 3D printing your own stuff might be the way to go. I don't know. I'd like to be able to do that. It's probably cheaper, depending upon how much the bulk liquid costs that you use to print stuff with. Because, yeah, we always need little fittings to fit yeah. pipes together. There's so many fittings on a custom farm you need constantly for different watering solutions. And so I hope uh, Form Labs could help us with that. Yeah, I'd like to get one of their machines. That'd be awesome.